So just a quick uh, look at the RF spectrum that comes out of uh, an 868 MHz um, uh, TT Go T beam running uh, Mesh Tastic and obviously Velora protocol. So there's the Mesh Tastic. I've got three other nodes in the house. This one's connected to an external antenna. I've got another one connected to an antenna in the loft. And I've got two others that um, are just sitting in the living room on their little uh, helical antennas. You probably gathered I'm a radio amateur and uh, this is my shack. A little bit messy at the minute because I've kind of got lots of projects on the go. Anyhow, um, so let's hit the button on, on the uh, TT Go and uh, just um, get it to uh, respond to everything's out there. So I'm going to cycle through all the nodes it's discovered and... Um, see what happens in fact there should be yeah there are four nodes discovered or three other nodes discovered on this so let's hit this button a few times and uh, there we go we can see hopefully the other nodes are responding that's this one obviously there's another one just come up responded there so the, the mesh is actually learning about itself and there's another one and hopefully the last one, and they're all sim similar signal strength. Uh, the, the the receiver here, so the software is um, uh, um, SDR console. The actual uh, re receiver that I'm using is uh, a Hack RF one. I've got a Lime Mini, and I've got a, an RTL a dongle as well. I could e equally use those. The the, the new Elec one, very reasonably priced, uh, temperature compensated, crystal oscillator. Thoroughly recommended was a cheap SDR, you know, around about twenty pounds or so. But anyway, very quick, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kick it off again and say go, go, go look for the other nodes. I'll send your broadcasts out, and um, they're remarkably powerful. These things, I'm staggered. There we are. And they're all similar signal strength actually in the uh, shack here. It's going around again because I pressed the button a few times. And um, as I say, the indication on the uh, display here is actually showing that all the nodes that have been discovered. Let's just, just zoom in a bit there. So um, I've named them all my amateur radio call signs. So uh, you can see, uh, see they're all there. And there's the, um, I've got one node two nodes called the same name, so it's hence that. Uh, plus there's one with an un unnamed uh, node, because it's uh, not connected. Anyway, that gives a quick overview, and uh, just uh, to see what the spectrum is. Oh, by the way, the frequency it's actually in use, so the software is 865.2 megahertz center, and the bandwidth is 125 kilohertz. I've actually, uh, highlighting a 150 kilohertz bandwidth there, but it's 125 kilohertz in the mode that we're using. Hope that's useful.